<laughs> Welcome to the North Pole and Santa Teaches Studios. Today, we're going to talk about what you need to know for your first tournament. There are some things you need to consider before playing a tournament. Are you going to be in a different time zone? If so, you need to adjust your sleep schedule. So if you live on the East Coast and you're playing on the West Coast, there's a three hour time difference and that can mean a lot over 12 hours of play. You also need to know if you're playing a single day tournament or a multi-day tournament. Most single day tournaments can last 10, 12, 14 hours because you play until the last player stands. Multi-day tournaments, as the name applies, are more than one day. It can be tough to play 12 hours a day for three or four days. You may need to adjust your schedule ahead of time to be prepared for it. If it's a multi-table tournament, be aware of all the tables. You're not just playing your own. Another thing to be aware of is transportation back and forth to the tournament. If you're not staying at the venue that you're playing at, you need to plan how long it'll take you to get to where you're playing. There are multiple transportation methods. There's walking through passages, Uber, Lyft, there's trams in some areas, buses, taxis. They all have pros and cons, so you just need to figure out what works best for you. You also need to be prepared for buying into your tournament. Usually, just before the tournament starts, there'll be a long line for your buy-in. So if you wanna be at your table for the first hand that's dealt, I always buy in the night before. There are long lines for everything, bathrooms, food. So if you get there on time, you're probably gonna be late. But if you're early, you're most likely gonna be on time. During the long day of play, you will get breaks. Sometimes you'll get a lunch break, but if everybody's going to lunch at the same time, you will have a line to get food. Bathroom breaks can be the same thing. Everybody goes at the same time, so there's always a line. Be prepared. And that means just because you have a break doesn't mean you'll actually be able to get to the bathroom or get food. This is where having your bag of essentials with you is important. So check out our video on the top 10 essentials in your bag for tournament poker. When I play, I'm fortunate enough that my wife can get my food ahead of time and then we can go back to our hotel room to eat. And if we're lucky, we'll have a microwave, refrigerator, or even a mini kitchen. But not all casino hotels have those luxuries as standard. Before staying there, you need to verify what your hotel room has to offer. Because if you don't have those luxuries, you may be stuck paying for high dollar meals. Thank you once again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'm checking my list. I'm checking it twice. And I'm going to find out who's not here or nice. <laughs>